So anyway, man, that's that's music. Hey, that's thing. good. I like how you brought that together. Yeah, and it's it's now, therapy. Dope. Going back to your question from the very beginning. Yeah. It's always been therapy because yeah. I can sit down and write a song. Like today, we went, it's been stressful, man. Yeah. Our heart goes out to everybody from North Carolina, Florida, Tennessee. For sure. Everybody that's been affected by these last two hurricanes. And, you yeah. know, we we got fortunate on this this side of it. You know, I mean, some of our cities jacked up in the beats and Punta Gorda. Yeah. And, um, you know, but it's been stressful. I know me and you talking at night, bro. Yeah. And you're just trying to do this thing. So we went to the studio today and it was like mm. therapy. Even hopping in here. We weren't planning on doing this. We just yeah, we just did, man. It was just yeah, it's spur of the moment kind of deal. Getting yeah. in here, you know, because we just being us right now, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, yeah, no, man. No. Like you said though, shout out to everybody, man. Helene and Milton, you know, lives have been affected, and I know a lot of the talks that we've had too have been some of this is kind of bringing up those old wounds mm -hmm. of the last hurricane where you and John lost everything. Everything, everything bro. We had so, pool tables in the Clusahatchee, mm, Jordans, kids, Playstations. Your life. Every, we didn't have nothing, man. Yeah. And, um, and, and God was good to us, bro, and people were good to us, and that's why we just try to do our part, man. That's, you know, you, you, you're, it's like you're glad it didn't hit you, but you feel bad that anybody else has uh, got to go yeah, through it. Yeah, right? it's, it's bad when you're like, man, please don't let this thing hit me. Let it go more north. And even, but then you're like, well, if it goes more north, it hits other people. Yeah. You and, know? Yeah, then you feel bad. Then then you think of our state, bro. We took a whooping, bro. Like, we yeah. took we took a beating, man. We're taking it, yeah. You know? yeah and then North Carolina. Can you imagine, bro? Dude. I can't even, you know, and, and that brings me to something, too, man. Just, you yeah. know, people... We're so, and, and I've been guilty of this myself, yeah. so self-absorbed. So self-absorbed, man. We could care. Yeah, I mean, even think of it now. Yeah. North Carolina's fading off in the distance and everybody's. Yeah. And I'm saying, you know, if you're not there on the thing. Yeah, man, they, you're, you're not getting a lot of coverage on it. And they're still, still in total, lost. complete destruction. People you know, lost. Bro. Yeah, man, it's bad. And, and even at the beach, bro, we were down there, which, you know, me and you're talking the, the day before, the day the hurricane was supposed to be coming in. I just, you know, my one buddy who I've done his pool table, and they lost one in Ian. They never found it. Chip down at Sea Watch, man. Just his eyes when I walked in there to disassemble that pool table, bro. Yeah. Just fear. you seen yeah. it like he was just beat yeah. up, man. You yeah, know? man. And you seen it. You were putting shutters on and helping people. People were just. Yeah. They're scared, man. Yeah, it's one of those things, man. You know, we don't like having to deal with it, you know, but it's, you know, the the old saying is true. You know, prepare prepare for the worst, hope for the best. best yeah. You know, that's all we got at the end of the day is hope. That's it. And, uh, it, you know, it all starts with hope, but yeah. you got to be relentless with it. That's it. And that's where I came up with that's the it. name. Like, like everybody goes, where'd you come up with that name? I go, really, man? It, it was a God thing. Yeah. I was like, when John and I were going to get back together... And we we're going to, you know, one of the 38,000 times, but it, <laughs> I love my wife. She's my best friend. For the me. last time. Yeah. the la No, well, no, it was actually the time before the last time because we were relentless hope. Yeah. And then then split up again. Like, yeah. They got back out again. Yeah. And, and so we, you know, we started relentless hope because when we went in to counseling and to marriage then. I was like, I'm gonna be relentless with this. Yeah. I, I was like, I'm, 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 I won't, I'm not giving up on this. Yeah. And um, I was just like, all we got now is hope, but we just gotta be relentless. And that's that's really what I said. Yeah. And who would have thought the name? And then our our logo, the the main logo is a cross at the top, then an anchor. If yeah. you look at it, which we had to look up to Jesus, but if we didn't get anchored, yeah, it was over with. Bro. I, it's dope, man. I think the, the the whole relentless hope, the the logo, the anchor, the cross, all that is just like. Fire. Just us, and, uh, and 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 the same thing is, bro. Like hope without habits equals nothing, bro. Yeah, and you know that yeah. we we've walked through all this, man. Yeah. Which brings me to this, man. Let me give you some flowers, you know, Rach, man, because, um, you know, you guys went through some things, man, and it's um, you know, you, they're going to be releasing a podcast. You know, it's coming up. I'm I've been on them. You know what I mean? I've been trying to big brother them. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm yeah, like, come on, when did you release yeah. it? When did you release come it? Come on, man, do it yeah, now. Yeah, come on. Like I'm just, like just, I'm in charge. Put it out. Like I'm in charge yeah. or something. But um but the thing is it's because they got a story to tell. Yeah. And and a lot of people I'm sorry, man, I just gotta be real. A lot of people want you to release stuff and do good, but they really don't. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. And me and you've had this call talk yeah. a lot. 
Like, not everybody that's in your corner is in your corner. Yeah. And not everybody on your team is on your team. Yeah. And I want you guys to release it. And when I say this, I want to see you guys do good. Absolutely. And, and I know that your story is going to help people that John and I can't, yeah. vice versa, whoever. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And and it's, it's, it's the thing that, you know, I got to give you your flowers because you guys went through a lot of stuff that would rock people. You also went through a lot of yeah. stuff where you might not want to even take a stand because people might be scared what somebody says or people yeah. think of you but but i know your heart i know rachel's heart yeah and i spend a lot of time with we talk on the phone a lot and we get i know all you want to do is, is tell what jesus did man. that's it and and like, i give you your flowers bro because i'm proud of you thank you bro i appreciate I'm proud you, of you as a big brother i'm proud of you out where you're in business yeah bro thank i'm, I'm you. proud of you what you're doing with the detail lab thank stuff you. with flex being a father yeah you know and, and, you know, a lot of people don't even know the challenges as Rachel, as a mother, things you guys got to go through and deal with that, yeah. that some people don't. Yep. And um, it's easy to sit back and be like, yeah, but and when they don't even know what you're going through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So I give you guys your flowers, man. I think um, for our podcast, I think the end of 2024 was our year. Yeah. And, and I mean, to some people, not be big, not a big deal, but to us. Yeah, we were like, okay, yeah, you know, we. I think twenty twenty five is going to be your guys' year of launching stuff and getting going, man. And I think, you know, we've got a lot of plans, dude. That people don't yeah. even know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot we, of stuff we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> we don't know either. And stuff stuff we ain't going to, you know, put the cart before the horse on right, yet. But right. I, I just think, man, I'm really proud of you guys, and and I think people are going to get so much out of your guys' message and and your podcast and and you, Rachel bringing the word and you bringing the word, bro. Yeah. So. It's um, I'm it's proud like, of you, man. I, I sat back like a big brother, bro. And when I say it, I'm not saying I really mean it, though. Yeah, yeah no, I know, people, I know. Bro, yeah, but. you've been there, man, and you're, you know, you're. Your guidance and encouragement and, and all that stuff, man. I love you, and I appreciate you for saying that, bro. For real, I do love you, man. Thank you. I love and, you. Uh, yeah, man. It's Like you said, it's just, you know, we, we got this thing that's birthed in us. And, like, you came up with relentless hope. You know, I went to bed and dream, I dreamed a dream. And the dream was, it was just so vivid. And I'm not going to go into how it happened. But I woke up, and it was Speak to the Mountain. Yeah. And God was like, that's it. Yeah. You're going to, you that's it. it. Speaking to the mountain. You didn't think of nothing else. No. Nope. Like, I didn't go through like 20 names. No. I was just like, hey, that's it. That's it. And that's you, what you, you know it, it hit you and that was it. It was a God moment. Yeah. And he, he dropped it. It was right there. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. And it was like, I woke up, I go, I got it. Yeah. I, go, well, I go, I go, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. He gave it to me. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, whoa, okay. We all 10. Got We're all 10. Yeah. <laughs> but I told her, she goes, you got what? I was like, I got the name of the podcast. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, and Right. I told her and she's like, eh, I don't like it. Oh. And I was yeah. like, no. Nah. Well, she didn't say that. She's like, No, but she was like, she, she had to think about it. She had yeah, to process it. But then when she started thinking about it, because I don't think she comprehended. Right. But then she thought about it and grasped it. And then she was like, oh yeah. And she was like, whoa. And it blew the mind because, you know, it all it all goes back to that scripture, yeah. you know, man, and the faith. I how many times you had to speak to a mountain, bro? For real. How many times people daily. think, yeah, daily. How many people they think that you wasn't gonna make it over that mountain? Yeah. You might not have thought you were gonna make it over oh, that I didn't mountain. think I was gonna make it over that How mountain. How many times you I mean your testimony, what we were talking about when we were over here last time, which we were laughing at some of it, but yeah. it, it's it's I mean, even me, you know, we were talking about why we were when we were out there running and doing what we was doing. Bro. But that that's a mountain, bro, because a lot of people don't come back from that. Man, listen, me and you sitting here today. America. At the ages, we were talking about this before we stepped in. Yeah. At the ages that we are right now, you're looking at somebody, and I know I'm saying this for both of us. Yeah. You're looking at somebody that did. If I, if I, I knew I wasn't gonna live the twenty. Mm. I knew I wasn't gonna live. Mm. My, I was. I had a death curse on me. Me too. For twenty three was my tap out. Me. It's, you know, in them streets that we were running and what we were doing and how we were living. Mm. Man, Any time. man, Any time. I'm gonna be forty one. Yeah. I'm I 10 years younger more. than me. Yeah. I'm 51. You're 10 years younger. Man. And think about it. I, I, I overdosed on alcohol at 13 and was pronounced dead three times and was in a coma. And then after that, I'd love to tell you how many other times. Oh, but, yeah. But, but the thing was, I, we were joking and we were talking at the table. Like, I didn't. I, they were like, you got a savings. I'm like, savings? Yeah. Dude, I'm like, I'm not even going to be around. I, like, I lived my life like I was going to. My. My family will tell you, like yeah, my we... my ex brother in law Ron Rimmel. Shout out Ron Rimmel. 
took a life insurance policy out on me. Mm. He's an insurance man. One of the best in I'm just <laughs> <laughs> giving you a commercial run. But, yeah. but, but legitimately, I remember him calling me going, hey, Dave, um, I need you to sign some signatures. And can you take a drug test? I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah. I'm like, I'll get one of my kids. Well, hold on, man. <laughs> I'll get yeah, one of my yeah. kids. Jackson, come here. <laughs> Boy, this this is way before Jackson, yeah. but probably Ashley. Yeah. Right? I mean, she's 33, but um, I remember because they, they thought I was going to die. Yeah. Right? That they some they want my parents to have there, to pay. They yeah. want to afford yeah. my funeral. That's how I live my life. Same man. thing. So for us to be sitting here, like you said, it's a it's how many times you get people go, How you know God's real? Yeah. How you know God's real? How do why you believe that God? Well, son, sit down. Right here. <laughs> you see us two sitting here? Not yeah. e not even did both of us go back into the world after we'd already got out of the world and, yeah. and probably did more drugs than we ever did before. I did. Yeah. And then to us to be sitting here getting ready to go to Teen Challenge <laughs> and tell our story to For some real. dudes who some might be gung ho, some might just be in there, some might be in that middle phase. You, 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 John and Rachel know the phases more than me because I wasn't yeah. in there. Some might be ready to leave there and go right back to using, yeah. and that might be the last time they ever see. I mean, you don't know, I, I, man. It could have been my last, it could have been your last. They, you know, that's the other thing is like, man, the grace that's been extended. Oh man, man! You've said that a couple times, bro, and it it it's hit me. Grace, like sometimes <laughs> grace that we get is something we overlook. Right. Like grace, just I, I said it earlier, like really, Dave, you want to go there? Like, like when I start judging somebody, like really, buddy? Yeah. Like you can't even go <sighs> mm. unless he lets us, right? For real. And, and we we pushed that grace and pushed it, and. And I think the reason why you you're saying that so much and we're in it is because we both know that we're sitting in your house <laughs> at a podcast studio yeah. talking about where we came from, going, neither one of us probably really deserve to be here. Yeah. Without a savior. You know what I'm, I'm saying? saying man. But it's, God. It goes back to saying it, but God. But God, bro. You can say it a million times. And and both, you know, not where we want to be. We're we're going that way. Yeah. But both pretty successful business owner especially for our past oh yeah and 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 doing you know being not perfect not yeah. a perfect husband not no. a perfect dad but by golly i try hard every day you got to you know what i mean where your marriage the things you went through could been gone yeah my marriage could have been gone yeah and we're here every day just saying hey we're gonna get up today yeah take some grace and yeah get back in the that's it, right. man. Fighting for what you believe in, you know, and standing firm, you know, overcoming all the obstacles in your marriage, you know, because that's why I love the name again. I keep circling back to this is the relentless hope, man. It's like so how many times, man, and this is a whole nother podcast that we could jump onto, But man, just man, marriage nowadays, it's like if you have a disagreement, oh, that's grounds for divorce. Well, that's because. <laughs> They they take it and they they go like this. Marriage is the only relationship that nobody thinks they need to work at. Yeah. If me and you start a business right now, we know we got to work at that relationship. We got to yeah. have monthly meetings. We got to have daily meetings. Yeah. We got to have conference calls because yeah. we got to work on that relationship. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If if you started a relationship with a, a singing coach, you got to go there every week and work on that relationship. Yeah. Work you got to work singing. on. It. Yeah. Marriage is the only thing that you get married. You know, and soulmates aren't just found. Soulmates are made. Yeah, for sure. Okay, no, that's good. So, yeah. so a lot of times, people in marriage they go, "Oh well, I gotta, I gotta work at this." Yeah, yeah. Any anything you want to, that's gonna be great, you gotta work at. Right. You can take your marriage from good to greater. To great. Yeah. I, and and I'm a prime example of that. Yeah, bro. And John and I are prime examples that you got to do it. But like you said, nowadays it's like, well. You know, we irreconcilable differences. Yeah. Well, yeah, everybody's yeah. got differences, but are they really irreconcilable? Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, listen, if I, if we sat here and put together everything me and you have gone through in our marriages with our wives and laundry listed that thing mm. out and just put it in front of someone who was considering divorcing over whatever they're going through, uh, they would look at that and go, Wow. What do you mean? Y'all went through all this and still together? Bro, I didn't even know what a 
is like a C U C K. I'm not saying a cuss word. It's like a C U C K. I know. I know. I know. Well, you, when you started with C, and we're talking about man. Uh, I, 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 my eyebrow got raised a little bit. Like, I see, hey, we all, I see. You're like, Eddie, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, no all right, we just I, went south of the board. No, 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 listen. It, it's called, if some name is like C U C K, it's like a, a weak man that does something. I, I don't, I, I don't know the term, but listen. So I released a YouTube short yeah. and it said, you know, it was talking about, you know, most men, women are prone. It's just like a, you know, clip like we do from a podcast. Yeah. Like, it was like most women are quicker to forgive men than men forgive women because of mm. this and this. Some dude commented on the short. I don't know who it was. It had X amount, thousand of views. This guy just straight admitted he's a, a C-U-C-K, which meant, and I looked up, I'm like, this punk, right? I looked, at, <laughs> I looked it up and it said a weak man who something, something. Now, do you see, I'm on there admitting that I forgave Jonna just like she forgave me. Yeah. And some dude who doesn't know me, who I would smack his teeth down his throat, but I'm a Christian, <laughs> so I'm not going to. <laughs> but I would probably smack his teeth down. He might be able to whoop me. I don't know. Nowadays, he might be down there with John Huffman doing rear naked chokes. I think I could whoop him. He get me in a choke. Man, shout you, you out to John. John Huffman, brother, you know we love you, boy. Yeah. That's one of the real Big ones right there. That's one of the real ones right hey, there. Hey, for real. I love that dude, That's man. my boy right there. I, I love, love that dude. He can't help it. But, you know, like, uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that, like, some guy on there leaving the comment. I don't know who he is, where he's from. Yeah. But he's calling me weak mm. because I released a clip of saying, you know, men got to forgive women for infidelity because, because quickly, women usually will forgive men quicker than men will forgive women. He's judging you off a of short. He's judging, but but he's judging me by saying I forgave my wife to work on my marriage. He looks at that as weak. Yeah. No, I looked at I look at it as I do whatever it takes to be a good father, a good husband, and try to say something and and take a stand and do what's right. True. But it goes back to what you're saying. Yeah. People look at that. If you want to work on your marriage mm. and you and you start saying, "Hey bro, if somebody starts talking crazy, I'm like, "Hey bro, I don't I don't talk I don't do that, man." Yeah. That's disrespectful to my wife and people are looking at me like, "You Dave Cravens, I used to be the king of the joke." Yeah. You know what I mean? So anyway, I guess I'm a C U C. We need to figure out chat. What, Hold what on. is that in the word? Hold on. What is that? Put that. Put no. Don't don't. We don't need the word. Don't yeah. drop the word in the comments. No. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna see what it is so I can read it to you guys. Yep. So you guys don't see I'm making this up. While you're looking that up, I wanted to say something because you said that he's he put that in there and, and was talking to you like you were weak because you forgave her. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was saying that most. W women, I can't find. Yeah, it right but now. but but you're you you know you really he's weak. Yeah, oh because yeah, of course. He, any man, it takes a strong individual to be able to truly forgive someone. I can't find it straight now, up, man. For real, I will look it up, and it will be in the comments. But anyway, he called me some name, which meant a weak male. Well, how long are we on time, bro? We've been on here for a minute. Man, shoot. we got to cut this into like a bunch of episodes. Man, listen, we're just going to chop and screw this thing. Yeah. We're going to have slow motion versions where we're talking about weak individuals. <laughs> uh, right. No. Nah. But I guess I'm that guy because I wanted to um, forgive my wife and her forgive me and work on my marriage. But but what, what I was saying this is was about. that go you might have to edit a lot of that, Rachel. But that goes back to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for you. The problem is, if they locked us in here, gave us snacks, we'd be here all day. We would all day, night, night. night. And we already know this because this is what we talk. We're just having a like. We're like, we ain't gonna do a show next. Like, what we're we gonna talk about? I was like, I don't know. We're just gonna have a conversation, bro. And it can go anywhere. But it brings me back to detail labs. You know, <laughs> I, no. But I'm not serious. So much. So I want to <laughs> talk about this detail labs, bro, because. People don't, like, people think, all right, let me be honest. All right, so people think they can just wash their car and run a buffer on it and do it. They, they don't realize yeah. it's an art to detail a car. I'm a guy yeah. who thinks, dude, if I take it to the car wash, it sucks. Yeah. No, I I, I mean, I'm, you can give me the best product in the world, bro. Well, yeah. Yeah. Explain a little bit about Detail Labs and what the products are, though. Uh man, detail labs, man. Uh, I've been de I've been in this industry detailing cars for twenty some years. I've been in this this space in Fort Myers with Flex Mobile Wash and Detail for the last ten in right. business. Uh, we do six figure annually. We serve over a thousand customers on a yearly basis. Detail labs sold 
reason that I started it was to give, I was sick and tired of people cutting my products. Right. I would get these guys that would show up in their box trucks, bring me product and it'd be watered down one week and like not watered down the next. And I needed consistency. And the one thing that I like about Detail Labs is we don't cut or alter the product in any way, shape or form. Right. It's raw straight to the consumer. And we are for we are we're for the detailers, man. Yeah. We know because listen, it's 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 hard for detailers to be out there working in the sun, you know, doing this, trying to start a business, you know, and uh, we want to give quality products that you can cut and not lose, you know, not lose, you know, you can keep them. There's, you know, you can cut they're and cut still and cut. real, yeah, they're still yeah. real, yeah, to keep it so, going. So there's gonna be a link in the description because this is gonna be released on both of our yeah. platforms. So yeah. for all the people in Hope Nation and Relentless Hope, if if you're a detailer, a car detail, um, maybe you are a good, maybe you used to be a detailer. Are you good yeah. at doing your own car? Or whatever, or if you're, do it yourself. Do it yeah, yourself. Do, do it yourself. Yeah. Check out these products, man. Because yeah. I've seen his work, and he just don't. He just ain't doing like 1989 Toyota Camrys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's doing, like the whole. Tesla yeah. ranch down yeah. there, buddy. I mean, I went by the other day and he's out there. Whoosh, I'm trying to honk at him. He gave me the finger, but he's a Christian, so he gave me this one. <laughs> yeah, I was no. like, you're number one, baby. <laughs> you're like number one in my book, baby. You're number one in my book. No, but, uh, <laughs> fella, no, but um, he was, he's out there. He's doing like some 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 real deal cars, man. So yeah, thank you, bro. You know, and yeah. Flex Mobile links will be in the description. All that. Yeah, shout out Flex you Mobile. Know, I love Flex. And like Mobile. I said, man, I'm I'm proud of them, bro. I've been wearing the, my Flex Mobile hat every day, dude. I know you I got have. two of them. Hey. I put one up for good. I've been I've been wearing it. They're good hats, and they match a lot of my colors. Hey, uh, that white, gray, and blue is no, popular. You can't go you can't yeah. go wrong with it. Speak to the mountain. There's going to be the podcast with Nick and Rach. That's our ministry. It's their yeah. ministry. It's um. I've seen some sneak peeks and heard some of them. Yeah. They they ain't released anything yet. No, nope. they haven't. I'm trying to work on my ground. <laughs> they haven't released anything yet, which it is coming. I don't know when. Um, Nick's got the detail labs where he's going to be doing content. Him and Mikey, right? Yeah, Mike. Mike yeah, Mike's Ferris. a good guy. I like yeah, Mike. Mike Solid. Um, he's going to be doing that. So go. There'll be a link. Go to his YouTube channel. Yeah. Subscribe. You know, follow him on his socials and that'll all be in there because really and 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 don't be surprised if we don't start doing a lot of these where we just hop in and talk about life and and plan for real we yeah. get crazy but we got big hearts man yeah man we're for the people i think we're cool yeah. bro. i mean i ain't trying to be funny <laughs> yeah. but if i didn't know us, i'd be like i want to hang out with yeah i want to hang out with those guys yeah i mean personally yeah. because i will tell you you get what you see you know how many people tell me and i know you hear this too right Man, me and you should go have a beer together. Oh, yeah. I'm like, buddy, the, the last thing you want to do but, is give me a beer. Oh, uh, buddy, I, yeah, I, I've been over there for They go, hey, man, we're going to get some steaks. And I'm like, buddy, I got to go. I, I like you, bro. Here, you pull the steak. You're good. Because beer leads to fist. No. Fist leads to cocaine. Yeah. Cocaine leads buddy, to strippers. No. One, one too many, 12, not enough, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, if I start real. drinking, it's over with. And you uh, know my wife. If I drink one, she's like, you think you're the only one? How about me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, oh, right. You know, the girl smoked a cigarette to make me mad one time. You know, she ain't smoke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she gonna prove to me that she, she I said, you ain't smoking that cigarette. She's that straight Newport. <laughs> you know, I, like, I ain't kissing your shit. I don't kiss you anyway. But, uh, but anyway, <laughs> but no, the thing but, about it is, bro, is that I think that's why we love being together. Yeah, because. Hmm. It's funny, man. I'll make a joke. You gotta okay. crack up, man. Yeah. That's my life. The, the thing fun. about it is, like people. Like I, I get around. Sorry, man. I almost tore the whole set down. Um, I get around. I get around people, and it's funny. Like they'll slip up and cuss, and I, I, I'm not gonna say who you are, Christian. But they, <laughs> they get around, and then they'll slip up and go, "Oh, dog, I'm sorry." I go, "Dog, talk like you do it all." Yeah, for real. Like, like, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm not, I'm not aggravating. Ag- What's it called? Um, aggravating? No, I, well, I'm not aggravated right now. What's it? Uh, agitating? No, well, I'm not agitating either. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Advocating. Advocating. You're aggressive. Well, one time I was aggravated and agitated, so I started advocating. <laughs> <laughs> but um, advocating, cussing, or nothing like that. Um, but I would fu- say, man, if you got a religious person in your life, put him in the car with me. Oh, he, he, he's going to get... We're not that religious. Two right things going to happen. He's going to really get saved, or he's going to become a Satanist. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. No, but what's going to happen is he's going to see that Nick loves Jesus. Mm-hmm. 
but Nick is real, and he's going to see Dave loves Jesus, and David is real. And I approve this message. I approve this message, <laughs> and I promise you, Jeremy, we will not cuss at Team Challenge. No. We will not. Jeremy, you ain't going to see this before we come yeah. anyway. It's yeah. going to be on that flip. It, it, it's going to be on gonna the back be, side. It's going to be after when you're yep. already showing pictures yep. that Jesus showed up because— <laughs> I, I don't I don't go anywhere and think it's for me, man. Even yeah. when they say, oh, bro, you're a rapper. I'm like, I'm a quarter of a rapper, bro. My wife's only been rapping for how long? She went in the studio and killed it today, and I was struggling. Did she? Yeah. That's yeah. dope. She's, 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 getting, she's coming into her own stuff, man, where she wants to do her own thing. Because I'm, you know me, man. I'm bossy, bro. I'm, I'm a Andy. big brother. I'm was a that independent? Yeah. I'm, she's I'm, coming in her own thing. Yeah, she's doing it. Yeah, <laughs> she's starting to do music, and, and it's she's like... She's finding her Well, that, that and, you know... I've always kind of whatever's wrote, I bring it back. Uh, hold on now, I don't want to do or hey, say your voice like this or do you know what I mean? Do whatever. Yeah, yeah. And she's she's wanting to do her thing, man. So and and then I want to kind of do my thing, you know what yeah. I mean? And so I'm doing some country type of stuff, which I've always kind of been a little bit. But of course, then we'll still be doing our bass bangers. But you know, she's coming into her own. Looks up here, look. <laughs> You want me to get over there? No, hey, can you come over and sit on my lap while we're yes. talking? No, but um, she's coming into Christmas her own. Christmas right around the corner. <laughs> she's coming into her own self, man, and I'm I'm super proud of her, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, really. And so we were in the studio just doing it, but I I know the reason, and I can speak, you know, for my wife and you and your wife. The only reason we do anything, yeah, is is to tell a story that if four misfits and broken people who couldn't get it right can do it. Anybody can do it. Yeah. It's true redemption story. Yeah. I mean, and it just, don't matter how old you are. No. No. I mean, don't matter if you're 50. That's you, bud? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. 52 minutes. 52 minutes. We've, we've been got, in here an hour. We've got about four episodes here. This is the power hour with this Nick This is going to be the Nick and David craziness. Some will get edited. <laughs> some might not get edited. But, um, you know, so we're coming for you. <laughs> and you gonna get saved? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you about Jesus. Yeah, and Jesus, you gonna accept him? Who you with? Jesus. <laughs> Remember hey, we used to say that. Yeah, Remember I got you a shirt. Hey, you didn't did. I get Jason's shirt? Yeah, you when did. he was first born. Who you with? Who you with? Jesus. Jesus. But um, so we probably gonna <laughs> sign off here. I hope they got that food done. Hey, for real, <laughs> man, I'm hungry. But no, man, shout out Relentless Hope, 110. percent Clean Listen, cost. If you drink these, you will be in here doing an hour long. I podcast. drank one right before we started, yep. and I could go, and I'm starting to sweat, yeah, because mm -hmm. this is organic energy and it's time release sometimes. So when I drank it right before we started, that's why I was that's, talking. <laughs> then I start sweating. But really, all all facts, detail labs, speak to the mountain, flex mobile, a one billiards, Mister Slate, clean cost, fly fit tees, never, never not wear, I wear all yep. of it, man. What whatever it is, but really. I love this guy, and um, it's just fun for me to get in here with him because we've had three weeks of hell, man. Yeah, and um, it's been great. Praying for our community, for our state. Yeah, man. North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, yep. Carolinas, everybody who got affected. For real. Sign us off, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate you guys. Till next time. Peace. Peace.